What's going on guys, Mr. Jason back here again with another episode of my mail packages unboxing of Blu-rays, DVDs and video games out of print Blu-rays, DVDs and video games that is. And we got a few packages here. One of these packages has two items in it, so there's going to be probably, I'd say about four or five items here. But guys, if you enjoy content similar to this, please subscribe. If you're new to the channel, you won't regret it. And if you're already subscribed, I appreciate it. Thanks for coming back. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. But we're going to get into this. I don't want to ramble on too much. I literally just recorded three other videos before this, whatever order of that they're uploaded. I'm not exactly sure. But it was just a few unboxings. Like, one of them was a haul. A, a Blu-ray DVD haul, and then there was a couple unboxings of special box sets of, of movies. Of movies, you know, just movies. Just movies. But I'll probably put, like, um... End video links, as they call them, at the end of this video, for those who might want to go check them out. So, yeah. I'm just kind of like, I just want to get this video over with. Not that I don't enjoy doing these, I do enjoy doing these, but when you record like four in a row at the same time, you're kind of like running out, you know? Especially when each video is probably about five to ten minutes, or if not more, so. We're going to get into this, but first up here we have Stranger Things Season 2 on Blu-ray. I paid $11, these go in a range of anywhere between like 20 to 35 so I figured a few dollars, the worst case scenario, a few dollars profit. Let's see, and moving on to the next package. This one just arrived today. Or today as the day I'm filming it, but by the time this is uploaded and you're watching it, it won't be today. And let's see, and both of these I paid $8 each. First up we have WWE WrestleMania 12. Paid $8 from what I looked up, it seems to be going in anywhere between like $40 to $80 or something. Something like that. But what it will actually sell for, I don't know. Because these prices always fluctuate. And I just go by from what I saw, like so last sold. And I've seen sold listings going in anywhere between 40 to 80 So, And then next up we have WrestleMania 1 on DVD. Same thing, I paid $8. I'm just going to say the same thing, about 40 to $80 from what I could tell from when I remember looking up. But it could have changed by now. It's been a few days. Moving on to the next package. But either way, it's going to be a good profit for that. I'm really happy about this one. For those who watched the previous episode of this video series I do, really happy about this because this is an out of print Blu-ray set or 4K Blu-ray set. And it's hard to find it with the slipcover. Sadly, this slip, the one I got before, from what I could see, it didn't have any creases or anything. But this one does. And I do want to keep one for myself, so I'll probably just keep the one with the crease because it's all right. And I'll just resell the one that, you know, doesn't have the creases or anything, but here we have Evil Dead 1 and 2, double feature 4K set. And from when I looked this up, used with the slipcover sells in a range of like $30 to $45 or so. And I was able to find these brand new, don't know how, like this, these record stores that I buy from, every now and then they'll have, you know, an out of print title or so just saying special order, we will try to get it for you. Brand new, not used, brand new. So I'll... You know, I'll put the order in just in case, and if they can get it, cool. If not, oh well. And I put in, they usually let you put an order for two maximum. So I put an order for two of these. One order was already arrived and delivered. And this one shipped, and they both arrived with the slip covers. So I'm like, all right. So with the slip cover new, I should be able to get in a range of, I want to say, possibly 50 to $70. And I paid $16 each, so I paid 32 total for two of these but in this episode it's just one so i paid 16 for this let's just say i'm keeping one i'm selling one so let's say i get like 50 dollars to 70 dollars that's decent profit for this i can't complain at all i got one for myself gonna get my money back and make some profit but looking forward to checking those though i loved evil dead 2013 i loved evil dead rise i did not really see the originals i've seen bits and pieces here and there when i was younger but never watched them in full now i will watch them for full for the first time in 4k i'm looking forward to it seeing how i love 2013's version and evil dead rise so we're going to move on to the last package of this episode let's see and this one's actually brand new as well i bought this expecting a used one 
and it's arriving sealed. Because when people sell stuff to these stores, they have movies, they don't open it, they just sell them. The stores buy them and they sell them as used because they're being sold to them as used. So they have to sell them as used and they don't open them. It's kind of like when you go to a book, uh, book off or a Goodwill or something or a thrift store and you find stuff sealed. Not a loose disc, which is good. Plastic seal seems to be good. I don't know how much this goes for or no, I'll have to look it up, but here we have 28 days later on Blu-ray, still sealed with the sticker intact. And I know used these go in a range of anywhere between like 15 to 20 dollars, maybe 25, but brand new, I'm not 100 percent sure what they go for. I do have 28 weeks later. I have two 28 weeks later, and I have two 28 days later. So I'm, I already have two used. Um I have a pre-owned version of 28 Days Later and a pre-owned version of 28 Weeks Later listed in one bundle set listing, both used. And I'm asking about like $30 or so. So now that I have another 28 Weeks Later used, another 28 Days Later brand new, list them both together should boost up the value a little bit because this one's sealed. And I paid $6 for this one here, so... Whatever I sell it at for as a bundle is going to be profit involved either way. So can't complain about that at all whatsoever. Here's our stack for this episode right here. We got 28 Days Later, Blu-ray sealed, Evil Dead sealed, double feature 4K, WrestleMania 1 and 12. On DVD, Stranger Things Season 2 on Blu-ray. Drop some comments down below, guys. Anything related to this stack here. If you're just finding out that these are worth what they're worth, Bolo, be on the lookout. If you didn't know, now you know. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, I appreciate it. But I will see you all in the next one. Take care.